Hi, this is Michael from BetterTofuScores.com, and you completed a, a writing practice test. You want me to take a look at it? This is my free writing practice test evaluation. Okay, so let me get, I have the rubrics here, and I think you're very close. I'm going to say between 22 and 24 points on it I'm looking at uh, let me look at the essay right here so my recommendation is you have about 302 words so I think that you you need to maybe have um, a more specific thesis here I have two reasons for that I'll explain them below that's not a great thesis statement there so you know how to do it because you had a great conclusion that kind of restates the key points, but a better thesis that more effectively frames the body paragraphs. And in the thesis, I, I suggest that you bring up three reasons, not two. That way you can develop the essay more than 302 words. Uh, I recommend that the introduction is around 100 words, by the way. <coughs> so you can raise a topic a little bit more and then narrow that down to your thesis. Okay, so uh, the other thing is I had Microsoft take a look at the essay. Your grade level is 9.1. Your average sentence length is about 19.1 words and uh, I think you need to do a little bit better than that. Your grade level I recommend is you need to get it closer to 12. You need to go three grade levels higher than where you are right now. You can do that by uh, increasing the sentence length a little bit more. Right, so you notice right in the beginning here, I don't think this is a good strategy, very short sentence. Then I have two reasons for that, I'll explain them below. So you don't want a lot of sentences like this. You have to remember that E-Rater is looking at your essay. So I'll put you at 22 to 24 points on it. So you need a, a more sharply focused thesis. You need three body paragraphs instead of two. Uh, clean up the essay a bit with your just some minor errors in there. But overall, it's a pretty good essay. I'll just show you one error that you should be careful about. You say, I felt that you put that neither myself nor my classmates gained a lot. I would change that to I felt that um, neither my classmates nor I gained a lot. And maybe instead of saying I felt that, maybe just say hence or therefore, neither my classmates nor I gained a lot of knowledge during that semester. But that was not translated in our scores. Right, so that, that would be a recommendation there. So be careful of your word choice. Make sure you're using the right word in the right part of the sentence and so on. All right, thank you. If you have any other questions, you'll notice in the email that you're looking at, I do have office hours. And you can certainly come by my office if you have some questions, particularly about a TOEFL course. If you're not sure what plan will work best for you uh, based on your goals, I can certainly make the right recommendation if you give me the right information. Okay? All right. Thank you.